Hey folks, I'm back. The Novelty Cooker. I'm going to give a shot uh, using the voice this time. This uh, recipe is for smoked collar bacon. Uh, you can see the ingredients are pretty simple there. That teaspoon is full of uh, pink salt. Uh, here we are mixing it up. Um, this is unique because this is going to be a real short marinade. Usually bacon takes uh, 7 to 10 days, you know, either dry rubbed or uh, um, wet marinade. Um, this is only going to take about uh, maximum 48 hours. This cut is actually a part of a pork butt. Um, it's uh, called the money muscle in the, in the uh, barbecue circles. Uh, it's the prime piece of barbecue um, that would be taken to the judges uh, at a barbecue contest. Um, this is actually going to be taken the opposite end of the bone in a Boston butt. Um, I'll show you how to cut this off in a, in a future video. Um, I'm not the best butcher, so... Uh, I do the best I can. This is probably about a pound of meat here is all, so it's not very big. Uh, what's the advantage to this? Cost. Uh, cost is you know, fairly inexpensive if you can get pork butt cheap. Um, and also the flavors, uh, to me, uh, as good as or, or better than store-bought. Um, it, uh, it, it It's unique in the sense it's got a lot of muscles in it, and uh, so it's got a lot of striation. Um, it's just a good cut of meat. Uh, here I am injecting it. Uh, I inject it uh, with a small needle like this uh, because uh, I think uh, it doesn't create as big a damage to the meat. Uh, and the one thing I like about this uh, versus a bigger needle is you don't see it pour out all over the place. Um, as I inject it here, uh, you can tell it uh, it's not leaking anywhere. Pour the remaining marinade over the top of it. And um, this is going to go into the refrigerator. Uh, for anywhere from 24 to 48 hours before I put it on the smoker. Uh, this is a really cool recipe. You should try to give it a try. About 48 hours has passed by and uh, we want to now soak the uh, meat into uh, just cold water uh, for about uh, two, two and a half hours. That leaches out the extra salt. Um, very important step, otherwise it'll be a really salty bacon. Uh, now you want to pat dry the bacon, uh, the pork collar. Uh, you want to make sure you get all the water out of this, including all the uh, you know, any place that there's a, like a crack or crevice or anything. Um, otherwise, it's going to give this kind of a greasy appearance on the outside after you, uh, when you smoke it. And, uh, it just doesn't look very good. And I think the taste is even a little bit less uh, uh, flavorful. Uh, if you're curious to know about what the marinade that I used, uh, you, you can obviously, uh, you know, increase or decrease these amounts. But basically, two cups of water, about an eighth of a cup of uh, kosher salt. A uh, quarter cup of brown sugar, and then the one teaspoon of pink uh, pink salt. Um, I'm still working on the process. I think I've uh, mentioned this about trying to get rid of the pink salt and just have it be more natural without the nitrates in it. Um, and uh, maybe that'll be a little more healthy. Uh, next uh, process, uh, part of this is to uh, take this and put it on a... Uh, uh, rack like that, put it in the fridge for about uh, 12 hours or so to form what's called a pellicle, and uh, it'll be ready to go on the smoker. You can see the uh, pellicle has formed since uh, it's spent its time in the refrigerator. Pellicles, those kind of little bead things uh, on the side of it there, um, that basically helps the smoke stick to it, um, uh, and uh, it's an important part of the process uh, to make sure it's uh, a nice smoky outside exterior um, here where they are on the on the grill uh, right around 210 degrees or so um, and I try to get a measurement of two different spots uh, in the grill one on the dome and then that one is uh, on the left the uh, temperature in the grill top and then I also use one in the uh, meat itself uh, once it gets to about 145 I will uh, pull it
as you can see the uh, temperature reaches the mid 140s and uh, now it's just got to rest a little bit go into the fridge to firm up and it will be ready to eat all right it is here final product you're probably wondering about the uh, liquid smoke uh, the reason I used the liquid smoke is because of the short smoking time on a grill. It only smoked about uh, two hours, um, and so I used the uh, liquid smoke to uh, penetrate all the way through. Uh, I've tried it both ways. I just like this way better. Um, and it seems to give it a little bit more flavor. Um, now, in terms of cutting it, you can cut it whatever size you want. Uh, I'd like mine a little thinner. Um, it, you don't get nearly as much grease with this cut as you would a, a normal uh, pork belly bacon. Um, Right now, the lighting is really not giving this uh, bacon the, uh, the true colors that it has. I'm going to get a different shot here in a second and um, let you see the, the better colors of the, of the bacon. Uh, you can see it's got uh, good marbling in the, in the meat. That's why it's called the Money Muscle, of course, on the barbecue circuit. Um, and um, funny that uh, a friend of mine at work has a term for bacon. Um, he says it's the duct tape of the kitchen. Uh, so, enjoy.